Hey guys, I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I want to show you this new mural that was unveiled for the 100th centennial of the uh, race ride here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, also known as the burning of Black Wall Street. There's various themes in this beautiful mural. Matter of fact, the artist is a white man. He um, did a great mural of uh, Harriet Tubman in Cambridge, Maryland. And I think that's how they knew about his work. But this is one of the themes right here of uh, the deceased. About 300 blacks were carted off, thrown into the beds of uh, different trucks and put in mass graves. Or some people even said that uh, maybe bodies thrown into the Arkansas River. Here's one another theme of an airplane. This is the first time when American airplane has been used against Americans on American soil. There have been reports that turpentine bombs were dropped on businesses and, and homes to burn them. This is the main theme right here that draws your eye. There's a mother and a wife who's clutching her husband who's deceased. See, the son is clutching uh, and in disbelief as well. And the wife is looking up to the heavens, maybe even praying. But this is a very powerful picture. And uh, Greenwood area was known for two movie theaters. This is the one um, Dreamland theater that you've seen represented in a lot of pictures that are burnt. And you can see whites who were deputized, about 500 of them from the sheriff's department to arrest blacks or kill them or loot, loot their homes. And they're uh, chasing some women, but it's very powerful drawing. It's right here at the uh, entrance of uh, Greenwood. Right. that when you got the call uh, to do this um, you had no idea about I, this I, issue. I had no idea I had it was never taught to me it was a blank I had to, I had to look it up you, you know, born and raised where I was born in 1959 raised in Florida military family you know public schools Florida State University never once you know heard anything about it and how, how were you selected? Who, so who, who chose you? Uh, I think uh, Randy Vaughn, the gentleman right there, uh, knew my work, saw the Harriet Tubman mural. And Harriet Tubman mural where? Uh, Harriet Tubman mural in Cambridge, Maryland, on the okay. side of the Harriet Tubman Museum. Got it. And Visitor Center, uh, or Educational Center. And again, it was, you know, it was a powerful, powerful image of a powerful, powerful woman that when you tap into the stories that you're telling you if you don't get it, if i didn't get emotional if i can't get emotional i'm not doing my job a but b as a human being you know you, uh so out of, out of the hair as a human being you, you, you have to, to experience it in order to feel the pain of the person and the people that you're you're conveying but even as as just human beings walking the planet to understand why the black perspective is has an issue with any of a number of things and when you start to tell the story you start to realize it, you know the the complete mistreatment and abuse of a race simply because of the color of their skin uh it gets really heavy and i, I don't say i mean i say that but i mean i, I feel it when i paint mm -hmm. and when randy called me about doing it uh and i think it was because of the harriet tubman mural because for that one it was the same thing i don't take lightly that I'm a white man painting a black story but I'm also a human being painting a human story you know and that we should be able to tell each other's story you know and that the, the disadvantage to the black artist is that the white the, the white population is not hiring black artists to tell a white story and I can attest to how much empathy and, and, and how much uh, you learn about yourself and the people you're painting about by being asked to paint that story so uh you know so and i and i think i try to convey that to my work and i think that's probably why in answer to your question they asked me to paint it um take us through uh your process um to visualize this uh what research yeah. did you do right how often did you travel here did you talk to people right uh, just take us through that process i will um i had a lot of conversations with randy and dr crutcher about what it is uh, they were trying to convey what they wanted, you know, me to 
to express through the painting. Uh, the amount of research, you know, listening to podcasts, reading uh, historical articles, just reading everything I could about what happened that day. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity to travel out here. I mean, this is my mm -hmm. first time in Tulsa, but I this think- This is your first time here? In Tulsa, okay. yeah. And so I, I, I think, I mean, that's the beauty, obviously, of the internet now is that you can, you can pretty much get a picture of, of, of what it is and what happened through all the, you know, all the documentation. But what you don't get is what you saw today was that that human level, that emotional level, and, and, and sometimes it just doesn't work that you can travel, you know, either you're working on other projects and getting out to, to meet, you know, the people face, face to face, it just, it's not feasible, it's, it may not be in a budget. At the same time, you know, the beauty of the internet again, Zoom, you know, you can, I can have a conversation right. with you over the internet and at least I, I have contact with you, which I did with them, so, uh, but uh, yeah, my first time here and so how did you set, yeah. so how did you settle on so right. on this and yeah. so because you have the different so well you know so we're gonna get the microphone oh, yeah, here for sure. should, should just right. yeah just stand on that side right there okay. so just explain right. the different elements of sure. this mirror well w when i was having right. when i was having the conversation with dr crutcher you know she was she was telling stories telling me about and i had also read the stories but the first hand account you know of, of running down the street uh, with her mother being chased by white men uh, and you know you just had to read about about the white community deputizing 500 people and being told to make something make it happen you know these are and, and, and you know the deputies allowing it to happen I mean I would say you know the the, uh, the police force at that time allowing that community the white community to burn down burn down a town and kill uh, those are truths that you can't gloss over. I mean, that's the truth that gets swept under the carpet. That's what has to be, you know, when you look at that in this painting, you want to know who is that person? Why is there a white guy and they're holding a gun? Why are they loading bodies onto a flatbed truck? And when you start to do your research, you start to realize that's what happened. They loaded bodies, dead bodies onto trucks and took them to mass graves. You know, uh, in, you know that, you know, the white community made sure that they could, you know, that they went into every house you know, and in, in, in every business to, uh, to uh, you know, and destroy it. The whole goal was to destroy it and, and get rid of all evidence and, and then to, to pillage what was in every one of those houses. Uh, that has to be addressed. You know, you, you, you have to feel, as a white person, you have to look at that and be a little bit shocked that, you know, wow, yeah, I don't feel that, but someone did feel that. And they did this. And that person and the consequences of that action was what's right there in the center, which is a loss of a husband, a father, you know, of a future, you know. And got the child flushing. The child, yeah. yeah I, well, you know, my, my dad died when I was seven years old uh, in Vietnam, so I never saw him. He never came back. He's MIA. Uh, and I remember my mom, my mom screaming, you know, when they came over. And I remember what it feels like, you know. You know uh, what it felt like as a child to uh, you know to have your dad no longer there. The difference was I still had a community, I still had a house, I still had you know uh, a, a you know a, a family a, a surrounding me, a military family. This child doesn't. This, I mean, to be that boy at that age and have this happen, you can't comprehend at that age what happened, except you were afraid. But you. But you know, when he turns 15, or when he turns 17, or when he's 20 years old, you're going to start to he'll start to feel all the pain that he's feeling at that moment. And as a, as a viewer, I, I think and it's important of, of, of public art that tells a story like this. You have to be able to put yourself as a viewer into that boy's mind, into that woman's heart and mind, and and to feel the devastation of, of death. You know, and you've got to be able to look at the white community, your community, and right. say. They did this, you know. And, and you also have that, that, that plane. The airplane did. Uh, as well, and what people don't realize is uh, they covered this in the 60 Minutes piece as well. Right. That this was the first time planes had been used to terrorize American citizens. Yes. Not 9 11. Yes. What happened here in Absolutely. This, this massacre. And is the orange. We well, see the orange is it represents fire, but right. obviously a lot of this fire would already be gone. Right, right. So I had to come up with a style that wasn't fire, but felt like fire but it also didn't you also start after sundown 
So you sort of have yeah. sun setting, Ex so it sort of gives it. Yeah, both. which is why you get that that kind of long shadow. This is either early morning or late in the evening. But right. so you get your and you. you yeah. Just as a technique, you know, you want your eye to go right to the people. The other story you will eventually learn as you look at it, but when you look at the immediate impact of this mural, you want it, I wanted it right in the center. I wanted all the lines converging into her because that, that's the legacy. That, that's what happened, you know, what happens after this moment on this porch. Uh, who knows? I mean, was she able to rebuild? Was that boy able to go on and, and, and live a prosperous life? I don't know, but we as a viewer have to confront that and say, you know, this can't happen. We can't, this kind of hatred, and, and, and we know it's still out there. I mean, we're, we're not fooling anybody that, you know, that uh, there are still people with that kind of hatred in their hearts. And, and uh, it's, I think the more you tell the story, the more people like I do after telling the story, I despise that hatred now. I mean, I, I, before you understood it was there, but until you really start to tell a story and feel the empathy of those that are affected by that, you don't, re you know, that's when it has an impact. And that's how, as an artist, I'm changed by telling these stories. I mean, and it's, uh, I take incredible pride uh, in A, telling the story, telling the, the black heritage story, telling the black story. I'm not black, but as a human being, we all are, you know, and if I can't get into that story, then how can I ever, how can we ever, you know, move on? We, then, then yeah. On the sign over yeah, man. Here, you sure. have, again, you have, uh, you have a, a woman, looks like her daughter, that's right. trying to escape. Right, exactly. And then you have his wife, like, pointing, pointing them out. Chasing them down, get, get them. them, get them, absolutely, because that's what happens. I mean, there's no denying that, that, that happened all day long, it's documented, rounded up, you know, taken it, taken to wherever at the time they, they took them. Uh, or ran complete, run completely out of town, and if you resisted, shot. You know, so the word massacre is powerful, but the story of the massacre is even greater than the power the word gives, because y you, you suddenly realize that this happened to human beings, and it only happened because the color of their skin. You know, the 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 hatred and the jealousy that it took to do that, I can't comprehend. You know, as a human being now, it's, it's impossible. But I know it happened, and you've got to capture that. And hopefully I, I did. You know, I mean, that was my goal. All right. I certainly appreciate it. All right. Uh, absolutely. Thanks so much for uh, uh, walking, us through, walking us through this. I All right. Well, it. I appreciate it, too. And I, uh, you know, it's my honor, actually. All right. Thanks a bunch. All right. I appreciate you, it. you got it.